Question three is also sequences and series or number patterns, but it's going to be looking at an arithmetic sequence. So let's just hop right into it. 3.1 says the first three terms of an arithmetic sequence are 2p plus 3, p plus 6, and p minus 2. Now guys, remember, arithmetic sequence, common first difference. So if I subtract t2 from t3, I'm going to get the same answer as T2 minus T1. Okay, so 3.1.1 says show that P is equal to 11. So if I do just that, guys, I can solve for P. So term 3 is P minus 2. Term 2 is P plus 6. Again, term 2, P plus 6, minus term 1, which is 2P plus 3. Okay. So now we just need to solve for p. So on the left hand side, p minus p is 0 and negative 2 minus 6 is going to give me negative 8. On the right hand side, p minus 2p is going to give me negative p and 6 minus 3 is going to give me positive 3. So now I'm going to add p to both sides. So I get p is equal to, and if I add 8 to both sides, I get 11. Easy, easy peasy. 3.1.2 says calculate the smallest value of n for which tn is less than negative 55. Guys, tn, obviously we're going to have to find the general formula first. So remember, tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 D. But we don't even know what our sequence is yet. So first we need to go and substitute p equals 11 into our series. So term 1 is 2p plus 3. So 2 times p which is 11 is 22 plus 3 is 25. Term 2 is 11 plus 6 which is 17 and term 3 is 11 minus 2 which is 9. Okay. So if I look at the first differences, guys, 17 minus 25 is negative 8, and 9 minus 17 is negative 8. So we know that A is 25 and D is negative 8. Okay, so now term 1, we know, or we can even just say Tn is equal to A, which is 25, plus n minus 1 multiplied by negative 8 and that is going to give us 25 minus 8n plus 8 and if we further simplify we're going to get negative 8n plus 33. Okay so we have tn. Now we need to find where tn starts getting smaller than negative 55. So just treat it like an inequality. We have negative 8n plus 33 is less than negative 55. And so we get negative 8n, if we subtract 33 from both sides, is less than 88, well, negative 88. And now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 8. But remember, guys, if you divide by a negative, inequality changes sides. Okay, so negative 8 divided by negative 8 is 1n and negative 88 divided by negative 8 is 11. Okay, so at n equals 11 the term is going to equal 55 because if we look here if we substituted 11 in we're going to get negative 55. So the smallest term that tn is less than negative 55 is n is 11. Okay, so n needs to be greater than 11 for that inequality to be sound. Okay, guys, so that is question 3.1.